Welcome to the introductory section of data science. Much has been discussed in various platforms about the science of learning from data. Industry, academia and government agencies are demanding more advanced techniques in this domain. The world is filled with the data. It appears in many forms, text, videos, images, musics and many more. They are not only directly generated by people but also by smartphones, different sensors, computers, etc. All of that data in all different formats can be sorted into one of two categories, structured data and unstructured data. Structured data containing a defined data type, format and structure, that is transaction data, online analytical processed data, traditional RDBMS, CSV files, etc. Even simple spreadsheets are also coming under this category. Structured data usually resides in relational database management system. In RDBMS, data has been formatted into precisely defined fields such as credit card numbers, date of birth, etc. So these data can be easily accessed using structured query language constructs. Unstructured data is a data which is not perfectly organized in specific format or it doesn't have a predefined data model. It comes in a variety of file formats from plenty of sources. Here we can see some human generated unstructured data text files, email, social media data, websites, mobile data, all these are generated by human. While uh, satellite imagery, surveillance data, uh, different data generated from different sources, etc. are also unstructured but these are generated by different machines. Now, data is lifeblood of business. Since the internet data repository is growing at an astronomical rate and stakeholders are looking for experts who can scrutinize the rich lot of data and help them to take quick decisions effectively. As the volume of data exceeds the expertise of human to perceive from it, we try to automate the process. In this session, we will understand the key concepts of data science such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning and above all what is data science. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are two hot buzzwords often used interchangeably but they are quite different things. Artificial intelligence is a field of computer science which makes a computer system that can mimic human intelligence or this is the general study of making intelligent machines. AI is a broader concept of machines being carry out tasks which are done well at present only by human. AI currently encompasses a huge variety of subfields ranging from very general to specific such as playing chess, driving a car through a crowded area and conducting robot assisted surgeries etc. Artificial intelligence is not a new concept. We can see some of the evolved definitions during the course of time. The automation of activities that we associate with human thinking Activities such as decision making, problem solving, learning, etc. In another definition, the art of creating machines that perform functions that require intelligence when performed by people. Poole et al. in 1998 defined, Computational intelligence is the study of the design of intelligent agents. AI completely deals with structured, semi-structured and unstructured data. Coming to machine learning. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that focuses the ability of machines to receive data and learn themselves without being programmed with rules. We know computer programs are a set of instructions to perform a specific task. Traditional algorithms implement fixed rules for solving particular problems. Machine learning is not mere programming. It differs from conventional programming by allowing the program to learn from data, learn from examples and it solves the problems by itself rather than a set of instructions. Here we use generic learning algorithm that we feed examples of solutions to and let it learn how to solve the problem from those examples. Machine learning enables a computer system to make predictions or take some decisions using historical data without explicitly being programmed. Every company is incorporating machine learning approaches in one way or the other. 
we come across different applications of such learned systems in our daily life. In social networking sites, once a picture is uploaded, it automatically prompts us to tag our friends. Based on one's past behavior, the algorithm predicts interests and recommends different articles and notifications on the news feed. While composing an email, the editor automatically suggests completion of sentence. Similarly, product recommendations of shopping cart sites are also examples of learned systems. Machine learning provides different statistical tools to learn from data. For that, it adopts three types of learning, supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. Supervised learning. Supervised learning is a learning in which we teach or train the system using data which is labeled. That means some data is already tagged with correct answer. Here, supervised learning model try to identify a relationship among different variables of the provided data. In order to teach the system, we divide the entire data set into training data and test data. Where the training data set is used to train our system, whereas the test data set acts as new data for predicting the results or to see the accuracy of our model. Let me just show you an example for this type of learning. Suppose you are given a container filled with fruits of different category. We need to develop a system that should identify which are different fruits. The first step is to train the machine with different kinds of fruits one by one. If shape of object is rounded or oval and depression at top having color red, then it will be labeled as apple. If shape of object is long curving cylinder having color green, yellow, then it will be labeled as banana. After training, take a separate apple from the basket and ask the system to identify. It will first classify the fruit using its color and shape or what are the features we are given to the system. Then it would confirm the fruit as apple. So that is the process of training in supervised environment. We can distinguish two categories of supervised learning, classification and regression. If the output variable belongs to is category type such as red, blue or green and failed or passed etc. Then such kind of learning or model is called classification. Classification is a predictive model that approximates a mapping function from input variable to identify discrete output variables that can be labels or categories. Regression algorithms predict a continuous value based on the input variables such as weight, height, temperature, etc. The main goal of regression problem is to estimate a mapping function based on the input and output variables. Coming to unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning is the training of machines using information that is neither classified nor labeled and allowing the algorithm to act on that information without any guidance. In unsupervised learning, the agent learns patterns in the input even though no explicit feedback is provided. The most common unsupervised learning task is clustering. Clustering will tell you which group of data are closely related. Clustering helps to split the entire data into different subcategories. Each are known as clusters. K means DB scan, etc., are some of the popular clustering models. Now, let's see what is reinforcement learning. In reinforcement learning, some part of the data will be labeled and some other part of the data will not be labeled. These problems sit in between supervised category and unsupervised learning category. Many real world machine learning problems fall into this area. Reinforcement learning is all about taking decisions sequentially. In simple words, we can say that the output depends on the state of current inputs and the next input depends on the output of the previous inputs. A great example of reinforcement learning are self-driving cars. In self-driving cars, there are various aspects to consider such as speed limits in various crowded area, drivable zones, avoiding collisions, Deep learning techniques. Deep learning in turn is another subset of machine learning, but more sophisticated and complex in how it operates. It incorporates neural networks in successive layers to learn from data in iterative manner. Deep learning complex neural networks are designed to emulate how human brain works. So computers can be trained to deal with poorly defined or abstracted problems. Deep learning is especially useful when you are trying to learn patterns from unstructured data. ANN 
CNN, RNN, etc. are some of the popular and concrete neural networking algorithms. Finally, come to data science. This is the process of using methods, algorithms and systems to extract knowledge and insights from structured and unstructured data. It uses analytics and machine learning to help users to take decisions, enhance optimization and improve operations and decision making. Data science uses techniques and theories drawn from many fields within the context of mathematics, computer science, statistics, domain knowledge and information science. Let us conclude. The range of artificial intelligence has grown enormously since the intelligence of machines with Learning capabilities has created profound impact on business, governments and society. We will explore more on these concepts. Thank you.